While hearing that criminal netas matter, Supreme Court said that there is no blanket ban on withdrawal of cases against legislators, but that they should be scrutinized by the high courts first. CGI bench also said that while agencies and judiciary are overburdened, there is no reason for not filing charge sheets for 10 to 13 years. Minakshi Vanja joining us with more inputs on this story. Minakshi, Supreme Court clearly says um, there is no blanket ban on case withdrawal against Netas, also highlighting other issues, for example, the inordinate long time taken in filing charge sheet. Well, uh, that's right. You see, uh, this was an observation which, uh, and a direction, as a matter of fact, uh, which perhaps the Supreme Court felt uh, needed more clarity because of which today the Honorable Chief Justice of India has again underlined the fact that, uh, which you just stated, Afrida, but this is a case pertaining to expediting cases against MPs and MLAs sitting in Poma. And Supreme Court went on to make some very pertinent observations. For instance, it went on to state, and I quote, uh, just like us, investigating agencies are also suffering from lack of infrastructure and manpower, unquote. So this was a very pertinent observation made by the Chief Justice of India, uh, who went on to state uh, uh, to the point that you were referring to uh, in your anchor lead that uh, there are cases of malicious prosecution. Uh, the Supreme Court isn't against withdrawal of cases, uh, but those cases must be examined. If the High Court is satisfied, it can allow for the state governments to withdraw such cases. Uh, Chief Justice of India also pointed out as to how there are total 78 cases and matters are pending 2012 onwards, 58 cases of life imprisonment, and the oldest is from uh, 2012. So these are worrisome issues uh, which the Supreme Court today highlighted uh, to the government. And it also told the government of India as to how this report, uh, which has been submitted by the government on the status of cases against legislatures, is inconclusive. And uh, then it went on to add as to how there's no reason uh, uh, in that uh, report which is given uh, for not filing charge sheets for uh, 10 to 13 years. So a lot of uh, issues are being touched upon by the Supreme Court uh, right. pertaining to uh, paucity of infrastructure and also uh, Supreme Court making the clarification which you just referred to. All right, thanks for joining us, Minakshi, with the latest inputs on the story.